Okay, morning everyone, we're out early, beautiful morning. Um, I'm not flying what I wanted to fly because they forecast strong winds. So tune in, see what I'm flying, roll the intro. Okay, morning everyone. Yes, they forecast it to be a bit windy. I was going to fly the Arrows Hobby Marlin, but instead I decided to fly the E Flight 1.5 meter turbo timber evolution. But before I start, first things first, okay, I want to just give a little bit of a chat about my friend Mark and his dog Buddy. Now, Mark had a channel, RC Aviation and Crawling, and I think, I don't know exactly what happened, but I've been speaking to Adam of Model Aviator Channel and um, Mark's just disappeared off, or disappeared from the community. Now I started messaging him on his old channel and I didn't hear back, so I've spoken to Adam. Basically, I think what's happened is uh, Mark has locked himself out of his channel and created a new channel, obviously hoping that all his subscribers, because he was doing really well, he had, I think, well, he was getting close to 500 subscribers and he asked for him to, to join his new channel and nobody did. So what I'm going to do, just because the RC community is a better place with somebody like Mark and his dog Buddy taking part, I'm going to put a link in the description and I want everybody that watches my channel that knows Mark or doesn't know Mark to go over to the new channel and hit that subscribe button. Let's get Mark back posting videos. I, I looked on his new channel and he hasn't posted anything for about a month now uh, and that's a shame, you know, he was working so hard to build up his subscriber base and then he's just disappeared and as I said, you know, this community, we, we stick together, let's get Mark back, let us get, get his subscribers back and let's get him posting again. Mark, if you watch this, please, I've reached out to you a couple of times because I was concerned, just, just let me know everything's okay and hopefully we'll get your channel now back up to strength. Okay then, so, the E-Flight Turbo Timber. Right, let's have a think now. One thing I always like to go over before I fly is the center of gravity. The center of gravity on this is 60 millimeters from the front leading edge of the wing, plus or minus five. So we're looking at the range of 55 to 65 millimeters. Now if Cheryl comes up and has a quick look, because what I find is easier to explain to people, if you look at the way the battery is situated there, you've got a space at the front where you would push a 3S 2200, but with a 4S 2200, if you bring it back just to where the battery tray starts there, I find that you get a really, really good center of gravity. Um, it does say that you can run this on 3S, 4S, anything from 2200 up to 5000. But what I found people are finding is with a bigger battery, blocking the battery tray, it stops the air getting to the 60 amp ESC and we don't want that, you know. I've never had any problems with the ESC overheating. It seems to get a nice flow of air with the 4S 2200. So there you are, that's the CG. It's 1.5 meter wingspan. It's got um, safe AS3X and it really is a doozy to fly. So. That brings me to the best part of the morning. Let's get it up. I haven't flown it for a few weeks, but um, there you go, here we go. Let's give it a... Okay then, so. Now I have done my range checks to make sure that uh, everything was okay. And we got quite a bright sun today, so just what I was going to say. Now what I love about this plane is it's so versatile. It can fly slow and on the 4S it can be quick as well. So
So there you are, nice, nice, really relaxed and nice slow flyer. So obviously I don't want to go towards the, uh, the dog walker, so I'll bring it around my least favorite way. <laughs> We've got a little bit of an awkward cross breeze again at the moment, so it's coming from all the schools you can see over the field, so across towards us, but not as bad as last week, so. And as I said, you know, she's a, a versatile playing this one, she really does. Just staying up with that bright sun. By the same token, she does this. Sounds Which impressive. Is not really the way I like to fly my airplanes. I do like a bit of speed now and again, but uh, with my high wing trainers, I like to try and make them look scalish or as scale as I can. Of course, she's got flaps as well, so if you uh, take off flaps, bring those flaps down, just take off there landing. and landing flaps as well. It tends to uh, slow things down even more and quite a versatile style plane as well so so yeah she will slow down Lovely. time remaining two minutes take off flaps flat up let's get a low and slow then bring it past nice for the camera Ooh, very so. slow I know she can go slower than that, that's for sure. Lovely with a mix of aileron and rudder. I'll have another go with that uh, low and slow. Fab plane, really is a fab plane. And of course, in hindsight, I think I would have been fine now flying the Marlin, but uh, there you are. Any day is a good day for flying the Turbo Timber Evolution. And the important thing is, is that we're out flying. That's, uh, that's what I like, this all that. So the wind now, that's actually okay, so just bring it at, at an angle really, could have done with it just a little bit more there, just to bring it into the wind, but you know I'm pleased with our landing, that was nice. So there she is. It's a big plane, doesn't look very big when it's flying. Let's just get rid of, uh, you know, 1.5 meter. She's a nice sized plane. Um, you know, I've told everybody about this plane. Everybody knows what my feelings are. It really is a fab plane. It's got that plastic laminated underneath of the wings to stop the getting wet and dirty. You just wipe the clean and, you know, it's got all around the battery tray, it's reinforced. It really is, you know, a, a fabulous one. So, okay, that's flight number one. So remember, let's, let's get on board for Mark. Let's get his channel subscribed up. Let's get him back. You know, I miss him. I like his videos. 
I want to see him back posting and I want to see how Buddy's getting on. So, okay, see you for flight two. Bye. Bye. Yep.